I'm Brian Barnes and welcome back to the UofL Echo Reps training series. We've been talking a lot about sustainability in a lot of different contexts. In this video, we're going to match sustainable practices with something else really important, your health. Specifically, eating healthy foods. We hear about healthy food all the time, but what does it have to do with sustainability? It makes sense if you think about it. Fresh, natural foods are better for your body. Humans evolved eating this way, and our bodies operate more efficiently when eating fresher, more nutrient-dense foods like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. Eating this way is more sustainable for you because it helps you stay fit and healthy over time. On the other hand, heavily processed foods or foods that are full of chemical additives, sugars, and fats are clearly linked to heart disease, diabetes, obesity, immunodeficiencies, allergies, and other health problems. That's not sustainable. But did you know that healthy food is also better for your planet? That's because the healthiest foods are those grown locally without genetic engineering or heavy use of chemical fertilizers or pesticides. They don't go through lots of chemical processing, and they usually come with less packaging waste too. That makes your healthy food choices more sustainable for everyone. So what should you look for when making food choices that are more sustainable for you and the planet? Here are some things to think about. First, much of the food we find on today's grocery store shelf or restaurant menu was grown with what are called conventional practices. That means it was produced on an industrial scale in vast monocultures that can only be managed with heavy machinery, pesticides, chemical fertilizers, and genetically modified crops. All those artificial inputs not only require significant environmental cost to produce, but once applied, they have to go somewhere, and so they end up in our air, in our water, in our soil, and even in our food. Organic food is grown without any of those things, which makes it healthier for the earth and for us to eat. Look for organic options when you're choosing your next meal. Another way to eat healthier, more sustainable diet, is to cut down on how much meat you eat. In today's industrial food system, producing a pound of meat requires up to 10 times more resources than producing a pound of plant-derived protein like beans or nuts. It's not even good for us. Eating meat every day and at most meals is linked to heart disease and cholesterol, among other serious health problems. And life on factory farms is no fun for the animals either. In order to keep them alive on feedlots and in cramped cages, animals must be routinely pumped full of antibiotics and hormones that we ultimately eat right along with their flesh. The good news is that you don't have to become a strict vegetarian to reduce your meat consumption and thus lessen your environmental impact and improve your personal health. Check out all the great veggie options at UofL's dining facilities, including the vegetarian wild mushroom station in the Ville Grill and the wide variety of meat-free options on many venues on and off campus. Think about starting small with meatless Mondays or meatless mornings and then continue cutting back once you get the hang of it. Also, buying food that's grown and raised locally helps you get fresher foods, lowers the environmental impact of your meals, and helps strengthen your community. Think about how far that apple grown in South America had to go to get to you. It hasn't seen a tree in weeks. You have no clue who grew it or under what conditions. And think of all the fossil fuel it took to get it shipped to you. Why eat something that's had to travel across the country or around the world when the same thing grown right here in Kentuckiana is fresher, more sustainable, and by choosing local, you can keep the wealth of our community in our community. About 20% of the food served in UofL dining facilities is sourced locally, and you can find Kentucky Proud items in the UofL bookstore, the Nest convenience store in Louisville Hall, or at area grocery stores and farmers markets. Eating local is great, but some things, like coffee and chocolate, just can't be grown here. When you have to buy from abroad, look for fair trade products. Fair trade certification means you can buy a product without having to worry about exploiting the distant poor. It's a system that ensures producers get a fair wage for their products and that their communities receive social benefits. By forming a more direct relationship between the producer and you, the consumer, fair trade reduces the amount of profit absorbed by middlemen. Fair trade producers also use more environmentally responsible farming practices. You can find fair trade products in many local stores, and here on campus, all of our coffee and much of our tea and cocoa is fair trade. Well, now you know how to eat healthy for you and for the planet, but what about after your meal? Even the greenest meal often has some waste left over. To close the loop and stay sustainable, 
Reuse what you can and either recycle or compost what you can't. Try to make your next meal zero waste by choosing reusable items whenever possible. Grab a durable, refillable mug or bottle and never toss a disposable one again. On campus, you'll even get a discount on your fountain drink or hot beverage when you bring your own reusable bottle or mug. Dedicated Echo Reps bring the tools they need with them when they go to eat. Consider carrying a set of eco-friendly utensils in your bag, and maybe even a plate, like UofL's sustainability coordinator, Justin Mogg. And for the rest, UofL has loads of recycling bins all over campus for paper, plastic, metal, and glass items. UofL composts all of the food waste from its dining hall kitchens, and we've even begun providing compost stations around campus for your food scraps.